Hi everybody. Thank you for joining me. We are here with my Epidendrum ciliaris variety or stelii. Finally, I have an ID. Thank you to Todd and Terry. And if I forgot somebody, please forgive me. It is a very windy day. And I am going to film this with my wireless microphone and I hope I figured out the issues. If not, I will do, be doing my first ever voiceover, but I need to see if this works and it stays clear, including the wind. A long time ago, it seems, I actually said this is going to be a problem to repot in one of my introducing the Top Guns videos because it shoots out the roots in the hottest time of year. So the new growths have matured, they have bloomed, and then bang in the middle of August, it starts on the roots. Not exactly a great time of year to be bothering an orchid, but it has to be done. This one is outgrowing its pot, and I do not want to risk keeping it here for another year and then have another problem. So the roots right now are just little stubs. If I were to damage these, I am not concerned at this point because it still has a lot of time and energy to produce more. Just thought I thought, saw a mealybug there. So I have no idea what I'm up against in trying to remove it from the pot, but I, I will do that first. And afterwards I will do some consideration regarding supplies. I have cousin it with me for moral support. He's right here because I am quite apprehensive about this repotting. This epidendrum has been in my care now for two years and it is a very vigorous grower. And I had it initially in lava rock. So squeezing the pot is actually, <laughs> yeah, maybe a pointless exercise. Let's see how we do. Yeah. Rock solid. I do not want to lose the pot. But at this stage, I have just to take my time and trying to convince this epidendrum it's time to come out and get rejuvenated into something new. This year I had eight growths mature and four bloomed. It was awesome. So I'm just going to slowly work away, trying to squeeze as best I can. The other option was to just put um, a bigger pot around it with more lava rock, but I, eventually I would have a problem, eventually. So while it's still manageable with two hands instead of a hammer, I'm going to try it this way. Just going to grab the, oh, here we go. Hey, all right. That was easy peasy. Now, my contemplation, clean her up. Definitely, look, there's the old doohickey here. I'm grabbing it by the oldest part of the plant. And I do want to clean her up. And I'm wondering, once she's cleaned up, whether I'm going to divide her. So I'll work away at this for a little bit. And I'll come back when I'm done and then we can have a closer look. It's looking really good. I don't see any, well, many compromised roots at all. It's a ball of roots and lava rock. I have a little resident fern growing in here, which I would love to get rid of because that fern is a mealybug magnet and I don't want that in with my epidendrum. So the thought is actually to try and clean up more as best as I can because I want that fern out. And as I said, maybe I could divide her and give a piece away. That would be nice because she is very vigorous and it would be nice to share and get that fern out. 
See, if I only chop the fern off, the roots and the whole structure of the fern is still in there, so it would grow back. I suppose I could just keep chopping off the fern and not worry about it too much. So seeing what I'm seeing, I'm going to leave as much lava rock on, depending on how I go with the fern. But I will be potting her up in my leka with whatever lava rock is still attached. I will change over to my leka and self-watering. I have one more Coilostylus ciliaris just in lava rock in a semi-hydro setup, same as this one. And she is growing two new growths right now. So we're good to go regarding the growing season and new growths. And in this case, new roots. It's the first time I have repotted her since I received her. And I'm destroying roots as I go, old ones, eh, even though they're valid and viable. But I don't see, without doing too much damage, I don't see how I can remove this fern entirely. And I really, really don't want to bother the orchid that much this time of year. So I guess I'm just going to leave it be, collect my supplies, because look, even the bottom roots here, they're firm. I'm going to collect my supplies, get a bigger pot, and chop off that fern. You can see it keeps trying with the mealybugs. bugs. These are dead. I've taken care of them, but I don't want to have to keep worrying about it. So lots of lava rock will stay on this. I will not be dividing it, uh, which is a shame. I like to share orchids, but there's too much, too much going on in here that would be totally destroyed. And it's not the right time of year. So I'm going to get my supplies and then we'll pot her up. Yay. I was expecting much more trials and tribulations. I really was. I'll be right back. I think I have cousin its approval here. I think there's not enough destruction for him to worry and scuttle away. He's going to stick around for this one. Just trying to combat the hot, dry wind. I have only 40% humidity at this point. Let's see if this one will be big enough. For at least one more year. And maybe, maybe it will dislodge more lava rock in this setup. I don't know if the roots, if they're not happy, if they just die off. These seem to be super happy in just lava rock. But I'm going to change it over and then see what happens. Fill around with Lekka. So I have my two microfiber strips cut and in they go. Now epidendrums prefer to have a wet dry cycle. And I say prefer very hesitantly because you can see that roots have grown into a reservoir of semi-hydro. And basically, I never really let them dry out at all. Because if I'm not fertilizing this epidendrum, I'm always flushing it. There we go. Let's make a little nest of Lekka. There I have my loop again because I want the wicking to reach the maximum height and it's a bigger pot. Let's see if I put enough in or too much. Whew, way too much. That's easily remedied. 
There we go. Let's see. I can pull the strands down a little bit because obviously now the loop doesn't have to be that high if the roots are already all the way down there. Let's try again. I would say that could work, but I still think it's a bit high because this epidendrum likes to climb. It goes up in increments with the rhizome. Fair enough. There shall be very little lecker on the bottom. <laughs> I have a little nasty root here, but really the next thing would just be to cut out these ferns things. I don't want them anymore. I thought it was a cute little accompaniment plant. It made the pot look kind of cute, but no thank you. I prefer not to have to worry about something that is attracts mealybugs to my orchid when my orchid itself doesn't do that. So I'll just have to be on top of it. You know, when I was thinking of having to do this job, I was so concerned I A, wouldn't get it out of the pot, so that worked out easily. And then B, I thought I would have a lot of dead roots, which would then make it even easier for me to get this fern out. So I got, you know, didn't exactly get what I want both times. I think though for the health and the welfare of the orchid, the fact that she came out of the pot so easily is much better than me having to cut fern fronds back on a regular basis. So I do prefer the fact that she came out well. I'm not going to complain that I can't get the fern out all the way. Let's see. I have some superficial dead roots here that I can get rid of, but one is branching. So there's not really that much to do. And, and I am super, super pleasantly surprised that it's not a painful exercise. As, thought, as I thought, I was dreading this, totally dreading this. You see some fertilizer burn on these top ones here. Right there is some fertilizer burn. Note to self. And then eventually, later on, I will be taking off all these sheaths. Not right now. Not on this repot. This needs to just settle in and grow nicely and pretend nothing has ever happened. No disturbance, no change. And instead of swimming like Dory, just keep growing, just keep growing. The roots that are dead are the oldest, oldest roots of two years ago. The roots inside the pot were awesome. A nice, compact little package. I like it. She is very sticky with happy sap as well. Even though now, whoops, careful Nina. Careful. You see, this is another thing I get ahead of myself when I think a job is done, but it isn't done until everything is safe and secure. Now I want her more back on this side. I'm going to have to tease out a little bit more lava rock. because I can get now too excited about, oh, let's just put her away. And then afterwards, I could have teased out a bit more lava rock. Or did I already try that and it didn't work? I want her further back in the pot, but this is actually quite solid in here. Huh. Do I, am I so bold to keep on at this? What to do, what to do? It's a fantastic root ball back here. So it's like, huh. It's 
not like I can really destroy it. I See, I've got a growing tip right here. So, why, why destroy it, right? If the next time I have to repot her, I can get her out as easy as I did with this, then I don't see a problem of trying to do it again next year. Yeah. I'm not going to be fussing. I want her in the pot ASAP. No doohickey here. I don't need a support. Careful, I heard something snap. I don't need a support. This orchid is not one that needs it. It grows beautifully, it grows upright. So I have a growth right here, touching the edge. And I'll go with it like this. Uh, yeah, next year we're back at it. Same time of year. Very concerning for me. I don't like I don't like repotting at this time of year. Unless it's a seedling or something, but not when it's hot, windy like this. Oh, she is sticky. You. Right. I have the old label. I have my new label. Let's just keep my head together here. I can very quickly lose my train of thought simply because I'm over anxious. I don't know if that applies to anybody else, but I do get over anxious. Okay. No need for lecker back there until we fill her up to the top. Ah, oh, that's the beauty of inorganic. I'm telling you, I'm telling you. I can leave the lava rock. I can minimalize the disturbance. And then I can add another inorganic component. And then she can just grow on. I would have loved to have divided her. I really do. I don't mind a specimen plant. That's not the point. The point is, the old growth won't bloom. It just makes the plant bushier. So, if I can divide her, and then somebody else can get a nice piece, because there's so many growths in here, I would have loved to have been able to do that too. I might need to pluck up my courage a little bit more next year. But I was astounded by how good the roots were after two years in that pot with just lava rock. So right now, I just want to be quite happy to have repotted her and not gone a little bit too far and jinx it, you know? But I have another year to be able to observe her and see how she does. Now, there is a little bit of a gap down here. Boy, it's windy. I hope you can hear me. There is a little bit of a gap in here and I'm going to leave that gap there for the roots to go straight down instead of fighting Lekka and trying to find their way. So that's staying open like that. There's plenty of humidity down there because of the lava rock and that's all they need. I don't want roots to fight media. And then we shall see. Oh my goodness, I'm thrilled. Wait, my tag, you see? Getting carried away. Yeah, the only downside I have to say is the fact I can't take that root ball apart. Well, I could, but I'm very, very hesitant this time of year. And it's, like I said, it's gonna be the same next year. So, but anyway, it was the first time for me to assess her, to look at the roots and see what we're up against. So next year I shall be prepared and wonder if I'm just gonna go in all radical. As she is growing roots, I am going to, I have now got a 300 parts per million fertilizer solution in the bottom. This leaf is going to annoy me, I think, for a long time. We'll see. Well, 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 I am, I am happy. I have 
taken care of this. Not to my 100% liking, but for one more year she'll be fine. So, there we go. It has been a very, very noisy exterior. I have done all of this with my wireless microphone. I've had cars go by, the gate opening, a lot of wind. And now I'm going to put it on the computer and see if I need to do a voiceover. Let's hope not. I would really love for this to work sound-wise. In the meantime, whatever happens, thank you so very much for joining me. And I appreciate having your company. And Cousin It in the back there is also relieved that this is done and dusted. I hope that you have a wonderful day. Stay safe. And I'll see you on the next video, I hope. Take care. Bye.